Hey everybody, good evening. This is Pastor Erica coming to you with a follow-up video uh, for our group trip coming up to Kentucky, to Williamstown, Kentucky, to go see the Noah's Ark exhibit, which is happening Monday, August 5th to Friday, August the 9th. I'm going to try to make this brief. If you have any questions after this video, I'm going to leave my email address below. For those of you who have my phone number, please feel free to text me or to call me for further explanation explanation. So I pray everybody is doing well. I'm going to jump right into it. So most of you have already put a deposit down for your flight. Thank you so much for securing your airfare. We have four seats left if you would like to fly with the group. We are leaving from Philadelphia, nonstop American Airlines to Kentucky. We have four air uh four seats left on the plane if anybody would like to uh fly with the group uh the airfare is four hundred and ten dollars per person and only fifty dollars is needed in the next uh 12 hours so that will make monday morning you will have to put down fifty dollars by Monday, April 29th, 9 a.m. to secure just your air flight. And once you put down the $50 for your airfare, you can pay the rest in installments. Those installments are uh, computer generated through the system uh, that we use to book our uh, trips. So go click that link down below. Put down your $50, then the system would tell you uh, what payment arrangements is needed to pay off the rest of your flight. Okay, so four seats left on the plane. Okay, so for those of you who already secured your airfare, the next step is securing the rest of your trip. Your hotel and the theme parks and uh, the excursions that we're going on. So there's a second link. If you go down to the comments, there's a second link that you can click on to go ahead and to secure the rest of your trip. So I'm just going to run these numbers off to you one more time. They are down here in the chat below or in the comment section below so once again the itinerary for our our august trip uh day one we're gonna be flying from here to kentucky we're gonna relax we're gonna fellowship that evening we're gonna just gonna keep it chill then day two we're gonna spend um the our first day at the ark theme park and then day three we're gonna go back to the Ark Museum uh, to go see the Creation Museum. Then day four, we're going to just chill for a little bit. Then we're going to go out and do some sightseeing. And then we're going to have dinner at Golden Corral. And then day five, that Friday, we're going to pack our bags and come on home. So the next step is, like I said, click on that link below for you to purchase your room and all of that stuff. The room, if you want one king bed with a pull-out sofa, that is $6.50 per room. And if you want two queen beds with a pull-out sofa, that is $6.02 per room. So one king bed with a pull-out sofa can comfortably sleep for people. Two queen beds with a pull-out sofa can comfortably, comfortably excuse me, sleep six people so if you're coming with a little bit of people or a lot of people i think those options are well enough for you to choose from um and then there's the theme park prices uh for ages 18 and over the it's 535 dollars per person ages 11 to 17 is 485 per person and ages 3 to 10 is 425 per person two and under is free and like i said that cost alone just covers uh the day one and day two of the theme parks it covers we're going to um uh, some more stuff that's going on inside the museum it's a vr experience for those of you who don't know what vr mean vr is when that new thing now that like you can put the uh, goggles on your face and be uh, feeling like you're interacting virtually uh, with the ark. So it's a whole experience. It feels like you're walking inside of it, but you're really not. You have these cool goggles on. It's like a new young thing, but believe me, it's a lot of fun. So if you don't know what I'm talking about it, I'm talking about 
wait till you get there. It's going to be a lot of fun. The VR experience, virtual reality is what that stands for. Um, that also includes the Stargazers Planetarium at the Creation Museum. It also includes your meal vouchers to both parks. So you don't have to worry about uh, coming out of pocket for your meal. You'll have meal vouchers. Now, this meal voucher only covers a meal. It doesn't cover all your meals. So the meal vouchers includes a meal for the day one theme park and a meal for your day two theme park. Okay. Um, and then it also includes the round trip ground transportation because we got to get back and forth from the hotel to the theme parks. So all of that includes that price. Um, also that Thursday, like I said, we're going to go sightseeing. And we're going to go to Golden Corral for dinner. That's $75 per person. So I can't let you know exactly how much your ticket would be because I don't know how many people you're coming with. But I can say this, just for one adult, when you put the room at $652, when you do your $535, a uh, theme park and ground transportation and when you do the $75 sightseeing that all comes roughly to $1,600 just for one person but if you're sharing your room with somebody you of course will be splitting your room cost with another individual so you would have to pick and to choose and create your own custom package so when you click that link down below in the comment section just you don't even have to purchase anything right now just click on the link and do a do a go window shopping see how much it will cost for your room how much it will cost for your ticket if you're coming with any children if you're coming with your husband or your wife go ahead and put in how many tickets you want for the sightseeing and the golden corral and it will give you a subtotal of what your cost would look like including the travel insurance now listen travel insurance is optional you do not have to purchase travel insurance but i highly recommend you do purchase it god forbid you have to cancel this trip for any reason if you need to cancel for any reason the trip is non-refundable on my end that's why you should purchase trip insurance so you can submit a claim through them to get your money back. For those of you who purchased airfare, the uh, trip insurance was not available on that link. But you have your receipt and you can submit a claim when you purchase trip insurance this time using that receipt uh, to get your money back for your flight. So I say all that to say, click that link below. Go ahead and do a, a fake checkout to, so you can see what your subtotal would be for the rest of your trip. And then you also can make installments on that as well. So you already know what your installments should be for the flight. Now you can go ahead and do the second portion and start uh, making installments for this last step. So a minimum of a hundred and what did I tell you guys? A minimum of $166 is due by this coming Friday just to secure the final portion of your trip, just to secure the hotel, the theme parks, the ground transportation, and Golden Corral and the sightseeing is only a minimum of 166 due for this last piece but you have to click on that link and go ahead and do that now the, like i said the 166 minimum deposit for this final portion the 166 is due by this friday i'm sorry is it this friday yes uh may 3rd may 3rd 166 is due and the final balance is due by july 1st the final balance for your trip is due by July 1st. So I don't know what your budget is, but prayerfully and hopefully with all, once you go through the steps, you'll see what your subtotal would be. I already told you what the minimum deposits are, when the minim, minimum deposits are due, and you have until July 1st to submit final payment. Okay, that is all that I have for right now. Like I said, there are four seats left on the airplane for those of you who do want to fly. Um, I have some people that are coming. They're not flying in. Some people might be coming from a different state. Uh, so you can, you don't have to fly with me. 
It might be in, it might inconvenience you to have to come all the way to Philadelphia to get to Cincinnati. So you don't have to fly with the group. Um, I, I have a young lady, her and her friend are driving. They, they want to drive. So they're going to rent a car and meet me there. So you don't have to fly with the group. But you do if you want to uh, if you want the discount for the hotel and for the theme parks, you do have to book that through the link I provide you. OK, so like I said, uh, there's only about 12 hours left for you to go ahead and snatch up those four seats for the airplane. Um, if it goes over four people, well, we'll see when it gets there. But for right now, we just have four more seats. And then, like I said, that that second step is securing your 166 minimum deposit for the final portion of your trip. And I am looking forward to having a beautiful time in Kentucky. I've never visited the Midwest, so I'm looking forward to visiting the Midwest. And the name of my ministry is The Ark. The name of my church is The Ark. So I'm looking to, forward to seeing how God is going to connect The Ark my ministry to the ark noah built and see the see what new revelation he's going to give me when it comes to my ministry um so if you don't know anything about this art theme park google it google it and see for yourself uh what what we're going to go walk into is a it's the ark the same dimensions noah used to build the ark that's what we're going to go see and like, just picture yourself there right now that we're about to walk into what God has built, what Noah has built all the way in the Bible that many years ago. I've never been to a theme park. I've never even heard of such a thing where someone took something from the Bible and built it and created a theme park from it. It's, it's very unique to me. And um, I'm just looking forward to the fellowship. I'm looking forward to the new revelations. I'm looking forward to seeing you and to having fun with you. Um, this trip is rain or shine. I've never been on a vacation where the, the rain stopped me. So this trip is rain or shine. If it rains while we're there, it, the park is going to stay open. We'll just go with our, our uh, what's it called? Our uh, little rain gear on. Well, this uh, rain, what rain? We, we going to have a good time. Rain or shine. That's it. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening. If you've been trying to encourage somebody to join this trip, send them this link. Send them this link. Tell them, go ahead, click on that YouTube link. Pastor Erica, put all of the, the links down in the comment section. Go ahead and register now. It's a great uh, occasion for churches, for ministries, for youth, for families, for friends looking to have a faith, fun, filled time in Kentucky. So thank you. Looking forward to see you in Kentucky. Go ahead and finalize the last portion of your trip now. And I will talk to you soon. God bless. Have a great night. Bye-bye.